Hello from Chinichi.com. This is Mark Chou Si. Uh, today I want to talk about how to um, play the recorder properly and uh, make the best sound out of your recorder. So after um, getting this yesterday, uh, yeah, so this is my day two on the recorder. But because I have background on the uh, Chinese uh, flute, Dak Ji, so the way I blow and uh, how you you usually play the recorder is totally different and before i start to you know go on the lecture mode let's um hear how it sounds from my playing okay so here we go this is a um soprano recorder eight dollars 99 cents uh this is the brand okay so First of all, make sure no no uh, moisture inside. Okay, no moisture. Okay. So yeah. Ooh, like that. Okay. Let's go. So, um, maybe a little bit faster. Well, <laughs> just for fun, some notes there. Um, yeah, so basically, you see, with the with the recorder, the cheap one, uh, you can actually play pretty good music. Compared to, okay, now I'll play one footage uh, with this deck G. Okay, this is expensive stuff, but you'll see. Okay, let's go. One footage, okay? Same thing played on the recorder. Same thing.
<laughs> wow, you see, magic. <laughs> so yeah, um, okay. I just want to tell you the trick um, that most people don't get with the recorder. Okay, first of all, uh, cut all the bullshit. Okay, no bullshit. Uh, meaning that when people tell you to, you know, soak the recorder in bleach vinegar. Okay, cut the crap. Just get some rubbing alcohol and rub the mouthpiece so that you don't have germs and you can play. After playing, wash the mouthpiece in water. That's basically the most you, you have to do. So unless you use this to plunge your toilet, it's not going to be like very scary, germy. So yeah. And so the second thing you want to do is make sure that uh, the inside is dry when you play it because with water inside the recorder, uh, your sound will sound pretty weird. Your mouth. Um, do not play recorder right after you eat. If you eat, uh, rinse your mouth because you don't want that smell and food and stuff to go in. And also, keep your mouth kind of uh, dry. Like, um, not really have to dry it up, but you know, you don't have to be all watery in the side because when you blow, the water will go inside if you're watery. When I blow it, no saliva actually goes inside there. Okay, that's that the technique. Secondly, you see the mouthpiece? Most people will play the recorder with the mouth inside, like really going like this. Okay? The mouth, they will go like this. So you're like eating the recorder. Ah. Um, well, that's wrong. When you use the tongue to tongue the note, okay, you go t -t -t -t, and then spit the note out. Now I'll demonstrate um, with the wrong method, putting the recorder inside the mouth. Okay, you don't get the no low notes right, and it sounds very crappy. It, it's like, um, you see, like a baby playing recorder. It's very, very annoying. Beep, beep, beep sound, okay? But then this thing is not a whistle. You're not supposed to beep it, okay? So I'll play a few notes in comparison to uh, the other one, okay? This is the wrong method. Okay. Okay. You see, the wrong method is very annoying. Now, right method is your lips, the, the mouth, the between the two lips, okay, just touches like this. Okay, right here. It just touches it. And it doesn't even, you don't even put it inside the mouth. It's outside. Mm hmm Like this. Okay. And the way you blow it, it's like you're trying to flow air in. And not really trying to like, blow. You're trying to. Okay. If you put a piece of tissue, okay, tissue, okay, put it in uh, in front of your mouth, like this. That's the amount of force. Okay. Can you see it again? See it again. It's not supposed to even go. Okay, this is too wild. You want to blow it so light that it will just make a sound. Okay, some of you will think, oh, then the recorder is not loud. It's so soft. Well, it is supposed to be a soft sounding equipment. It's not a loud equipment, right? If you want loud equipment, go for a, like a saxophone, clarinet, you know, those big stuff. But recorder is supposed to be soft. So here you go. Same notes. very soft about the um, so you see the difference right um, huge difference when you blow it right and here will get very tightened up as you use that method because you're not relaxed so focus on the tummy relax the shoulder and you blow very very relaxingly and then you won't feel that like exhausting feeling okay 
and also for the tonguing. When you go, the wrong method is you put the tongue outside and go, and then you tap on the mouthpiece like that. That's really wrong. Because when you tap on the mouthpiece, the tongue, the saliva, will spit inside the thing, and that's why it gets so watery, and then you you hear that, like a little squeak sound. And that's why the, because the airflow is so bad, uh, that's why it squeaks. Okay, go lightly. And when you tongue, Okay, because your tongue, your, your mouth, is just touching the recorder. Okay, your tongue inside tap uh, or tick on the inside of the uh, top row of your teeth, the inside of the teeth, so that you ensure there is no uh, saliva, no crazy air flowing directly into here. You're, you're just tonguing the inside wall of the top uh, row of the teeth, okay? When it feels like you roll your tongue back, like when you're saying R like that R, and then you keep tonguing with the tongue R like that. Now that sounds much better, right? So basically, that's how you play the recorder to get a very non annoying sound. And the most annoying thing is when I hear people play recorder, they go like this. is a very monotone uh, recorder sound. It's like it have no feeling. It's dead. Okay. The problem is because you used to uh, look at the notes, like the the notes on a music script, like like these kind of scripts. Okay. And then you go one, two, three, four. It it gives you the um, the the note, like one note by one note. Very dead, okay? A note should be have like up and down, up and down. It should fade. It it can fade, it can vibrate, it can wave, okay? So just a few demonstration, okay? One note, dead tone. dead right now non dead tone okay? alive wow different hey eh? even this Cool, eh? So, a lot of breathing controls. You can move this part up and down to get the vibrato. Okay. And then, what we call fa seat in uh, Chinese. Fa seat is a technique like this. <laughs> like that while you play. So it works like this. With tongue, you play uh, with a lot of techniques. So this is basically just 
you know, uh, a 899 recorder. Now I'm going to play you a song to inspire you a bit to play it well. And so you know how, like, even a dollar shop recorder can do the same thing. So, yeah, it's basically plastic is plastic. There's no, like, good plastic, bad plastic. Okay? It's all made the same way. So let's try. Okay. Guys, um, this is a maple wood recorder. It's uh, alto, not soprano. Better sound with alto. And of course the wood uh, gives it a more uh, higher, uh, richer tone. Just a little sample, same song. Okay, guys, so <laughs> back to the oriental stuff, flute, okay, deck seat, same song.
Wow. <laughs> so, hey guys, uh, you see, recorders are fun. Um, overall, they are uh, not as loud as the bamboo flute, but they also sound very good. And uh, okay, so remember some key points. Okay, don't blow too hard. Don't expect it to be loud. Okay, it's not a trumpet or something like that. And uh, you need to play soft and have uh, to get the best sound out of your eight dollars ninety nine or four dollars forty five something. Uh, not even ten bucks to get for soprano recorder. So um, yeah, plastic is plastic. It doesn't matter. Yours is cheaper or not. Uh, like. Usually it's the material they use, but the shape, the design, everything is about the same. Even you give me like a two bucks recorder, I can play the same way. And yeah, so basically that's it. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Hope this video gives you a mind-blowing experience with the recorder. Bye-bye.